Here's Why with Michael, sponsored by the Bugs Exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Today is officially the first day of winter, but the weather didn't seem to get the memo. So what exactly makes today the first day of winter and why does it change year to year? Meteorologist Michael Behrens joins us now to explain in today's Here's Why. Yeah, guys, the first day of winter. We are officially on the day a couple hours away. In fact, 16 hours, 16 minutes from the start of winter, which happens tonight at 1027. The reason behind that all has to do with astronomical winter and where the sun is in relationship to Earth. So why exactly is today the start of winter anyways? Well, there's a couple definitions of winter. The first one is meteorological winter. That's what we use to calculate weather data and seasonal averages that started on December. First, that differs again from the winter you see on your calendar, which is astronomical winter. It's defined by the winter solstice. What that is, is again the sun's position around the globe and how it relates to the tropics. The winter solstice is when the sun is directly above the Tropic of Capricorn. It's the shortest day for us here in the northern hemisphere with the longest on the southern. In fact, all of the seasons you see on your calendar are related to the sun's position to the Earth and where we are in our orbit. Again, as we mentioned, winter solstice, that's either the 21st or the 22nd. It kind of changes year to year uh, based on how things fluctuate, but it's when again the center of the sun is directly above the Tropic of Capricorn, the shortest day for us up here in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you're at the North Pole, that's when you have zero hours of daylight, where the South Pole has 24 hours of daylight. And the good news is if you're getting tired of these short days, this is as bad as it gets. We're not going to get any shorter than this. In fact, as we head into early January, sunlight starts to go up and we keep climbing as we head into the summer. In fact, we go from just about nine hours of daylight today, the least throughout the year to about 15 hours and 21 minutes minutes by June 21st. So it's all uphill from here. But the reasoning behind why today is winter again, it all has to do with that solstice.